this is Piper Parabo. I just finished a long day of press for my new show, The Big Leap. I just washed all that makeup off so I can show you my 10 minute beauty routine before I go out with my friends. I always pin my hair back because my hair kind of gets in my face when I'm doing my makeup. I take my makeup off with um, coconut oil, which you can get at the grocery store. You know, like if you have a lot of eye makeup on, especially if I've been filming all day or I do a press day and they put, you know, a lot of makeup on, especially eye makeup, you don't want to like rub and rub to get your eye makeup off. And if you put coconut oil on your face, it just like drips off your face. So that's how I take my makeup off at the end of the day before I wash my face, put coconut oil on, wipe it all off, and then I do like a good scrub with a brush on my face. But I also put a little coconut oil on before I start, it's like the full circle. So you warm it up in your hands. You can also put this um, on your whole body, on the tips of your hair. It's like really good. It smells good, it smells like the beach. <sighs> I do try to use a lot of natural products just because then I know more what's going on. What, you know, your skin is absorbing everything you put on it. So I try to use a lot of natural things just so I have some idea of what's going on. I mean, not everything is made perfectly, but I try to lean in that direction. Then I'll also put like any kind of misting water on your face. I feel like in the summer it keeps you cooler and I just think the more hydration you can pile into your skin, the happier it is. It's just water. I literally like have one in the car. I'm always putting this on my face. I wear this beauty counter lip balm. Beauty counter so great. They're working on legislation in the government to make the FDA take any bad chemicals out of our cosmetics. So I really appreciate that about them. So I wear um, Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. You can see I'm almost out. And I wear that on camera too. It's really, it soaks into your skin kind of. Right when you put it on, you'll see it like sitting on top, but about a minute later, it soaks in. So it just feels like kind of hydrating and part of your skin. And my skin is, has like a pinkness to it. Sometimes a little too pink on my nose. So I wear 5.5. One time I was doing a photo shoot for Oprah's magazine and the artist before me was Iman. Wow, it was hard to be cool. And um, Bobby Brown was doing her makeup and she stayed to do my makeup. And so Bobby Brown said to me like, your skin has this pinkness in it, so you should have a little bit of yellow. You can even, if your skin is really pink, like if you have like rosacea, some girls have a little rosacea on their nose or in their cheeks, you can even get, you'll see it sometimes in a concealer, like it's a little bit green. And if you put that where there's too, too much pink, it kind of neutralizes that out before you put your foundation on. The blush I use is, um, Fenty, the cream blush, and it's Bikini Martini. I kind of forget that name. It's a cream blush, and it looks too pink. Like, you're gonna think when you see it in the store, you'll be like, well, I should never buy that blush. But like, a little bit of really bright blush, I feel like, I mean, everything on my skin is like so dewy, and then cream blush just kind of soaks in with everything else. You know, I wasn't very good at doing makeup when I was in high school, so I didn't wear it at all. My mom doesn't wear any makeup, so I don't have a sister, so I didn't have anybody to really show me how to do it. And it's kind of hard to learn how to do it out of a magazine. You know, it was before social media and everything, so I just didn't have the confidence to use it. And then when I started working in film, um, I got to sit with all these amazing makeup artists who would tell me little tips, like you can hold your eyelash curler in front of the blow dryer to like warm it up, basically like a curling iron, and then you curl your lashes, and that heat on the curling, on the lash curler will make your lashes stay curled longer. So I felt like, you know, after a lot of years of watching makeup artists um, do my makeup, I still like, at the end of the day, I wanna take it all off because it's just under the lights and the powder and it just can feel like a lot, and then I just wanna do sort of do a minimalist look when I go out. I live in New York, so I feel like New York women are kind of minimalist. And then my favorite lipstick is um, this Dior 666. I feel like if you are into a minimalist look, you need still need like one little pop, and so I love this Dior, because I feel like it's a real 1940s red, like it has a lot of blue in it. It's really hard to find your right shade. I mean, especially your right red. And you know, makeup is expensive. I remember when I was a teenager and going into Macy's and there's so many counters and everything costs real money. So lipstick is one of those things that I feel like does take a little look, a little hunting. Um, 
I like a really blue red because on my skin tone it pops, but um, depending on your skin tone, I also think like a coral, like almost an orange terracotta coral is so pretty in the summer. And the last thing I put on when I've got all the makeup on is perfume. I love perfume and there's this new brand called St. Rose that's sustainable. Um, it's Australian and uh, the one I'm wearing right now, um, I have my little travel one with me, is called Grand Larceny. I think that's such a cool name for a perfume. I think it's just nice mm, to have a scent every season. Then when you smell it again, you kind of remember that time. So this summer I've been wearing Grand, Grand Larceny. You know, I'm doing the show with a big leap and I'm wearing like lashes, like individual lashes, you know, that you put on with the lash glue, bum, 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 and a lash liner. And you're sweating, dancing, and at the end of the day when I take my makeup off, like, I just wanna put as little on my eyes as possible. Like, I'm tired, but I still wanna go and see my friends. So like, I don't wear the mask. Also, like, my lashes are kind of long and they bonk into my ocular bone and then it drops down and it's just like, it's kind of too much. So. I don't know, I just don't wear the mascara and all the eye stuff at the end of the day. I just wanna like take a break, you know what I mean? I brush my eyebrows out with my toothbrush after I brush my teeth. You gotta make sure your eyebrows are going the right direction, you know what I mean? Toothbrush is good for that. Hey you guys, it's just six products. That's all I use, six products and perfume. And because I, when I go into work, I sit in the hair and makeup chair for two hours to get my hair and makeup done. The artists are amazing, but when I get home from work, I just wanna wash it off and get ready to go out. And so this is really a minimalist look. It's so fast, it's probably less than 10 minutes, but then you get out with your friends faster. And for me, that's really important. There it is in the full sunshine. <laughs> Thanks so much for following my 10 minute beauty routine. Maybe I'll see you out for a drink after.